going to be trying out this Minted Everyday Eyeshadow Palette by Minted Cosmetics. This was actually gifted to me by my mom's best friend. I did not purchase this, but from what I've seen on the site and other sites, it's like $28, I believe. And you get three, six, nine shades. So it comes in this box. And the shades are on the back and it also came with a little sheet with the shades on there but I don't know <laughs> I might have thrown that away when I got it two of the shades were broken and I just I had I just had to make it do what it do and I fixed it with some alcohol smoothed it out whatever so what I like about this is it looks like you can go as light and then as intense as you kind of want to by mixing and matching some of the shades and yeah, they just look really pretty. So I wanted to go ahead and just try to do a neutral look. How dope is it that it comes with this huge, big old mirror, okay? A lot of these palettes out here are not like getting with it with the mirrors. And I just don't understand because that is so necessary. See this, this is about the size of my face, my big old head, okay? It's not that little skinny sliver of a mirror that you like, what, what am I gonna do with this? Nothing. Already did my brows and primed my eyelids with my NYX concealer and some translucent powder. Okay, I don't know exactly where I want to go. The problem is I want to use a little mix of everything, but I'm, I'm trying not to go overboard. So I think I want to go in with this shade right here, and it is called Tandemonium, which is super, super cute. I'm just going to place that all in the crease. Okay, so so far they blend out really nicely and I like that. And these colors look like they would be good transition shades for darker toned women or darker toned people because some of these neutral eyeshadow palettes look ashy. And I'm so sick, <laughs> y'all it's 2018. I am so sick of these ashy palettes. And I'm just gonna buff out the edges with a clean, fluffy brush. So then I'm gonna go into this color down here and it's called Red Bone. Oh. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go back in with the brush I used for the first color and blend everything together okay I'm not cutting my crease today I will not cut my crease today <laughs> I will not cut my crease today <laughs> I actually live for a cut crease but I'm, I'm not gonna do all that today I'm not so I'm just gonna take my finger because I want to see how these kind of work using the finger and I think I want to dip into I'm gonna dip into them both honestly so I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and it's called Second Date. Kind of near the outer corner. The camera does not do this justice, but even with me having to press this back together because it was broken like with alcohol, it's still buttery and creamy and really pigmented. So that's pretty dope. I'm gonna go in with this top shade called First Date. And it's kind of a lighter shade than Second Date. And I want to put that more so towards the inner corner. So now I'm just taking my brush and I'm kind of cleaning up the edges of that shimmer. What I want to do just to add some extraness, I want to take this color down here and it's called Brown Out and it looks like a really deep, rich brown. I'm taking that on a smaller brush and I'm going to put that near the outer corners. I'm patting that on the outer and then I'm gonna kind of sweep it into the crease just a little bit only halfway though I didn't take it all the way in just kind of in this halfway area and then I'm gonna blend it out I'm 
So I don't think I wanna do any liner today. I just feel like it would take away from what I'm trying to see with the eyeshadows. So I think I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and then move to the face. Lashes I'm gonna be popping on are some from Miss and they're just really pretty, kind of fluffy. I'm gonna pop these on and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> And my headscarf is kind of struggling right now. I had to move it out the way in order to do my foundation so I could make sure I got all of my big old forehead. And nothing's really changed with that, so I went ahead and did that because I wanna to try to use the palette to contour and highlight as well. So I was looking at it, I was like, well, the pans are big enough, they're great for eyeshadow, but this would really be bumped if you could put this in your travel bag when you're going on a trip or even if you're just going somewhere to do somebody else's makeup, whatever, and you could use this as eyeshadows and contour shades, possibly blush, depending on which one you use and what your skin tone is. So, hmm. Also, all the products I used on my face that I didn't show on camera will be listed, as always, in the description box below. So don't fret. Don't worry about it, I got you. I'm gonna take the middle shade, which is called Upside Brown. These shade names are so cute. And I'm gonna put that over my, oh shoot, my cream contour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that is, I am loving that. I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and go into that same shade. And I might mix a little bit of that with a little bit of Tandemonium and contour my nose, cause I don't want it to be too dark. So now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara and just blend my lashes with my real ones. Cause I never did that. I just remembered, I forgot to mention this, but um, I apologize for my ratchet, childish, chewed up looking nails. Look, listen sis, listen. I'm in between nail shop visits right now and I tried to take off my own nails just because I normally do. So just overlook that, please. I know you've kind of already been looking at it, but just still overlook it. That'd be great. I'm gonna go ahead and go into a brown out and put that close to my waterline. Under that, I'm gonna go in with red bone. Then just to blend it out really pretty, I wanna go in with Tandemonium under there and just kinda of smudge everything together. I'm gonna go ahead and place first date in my inner corner just for a little bit more pop. Now I always accentuate my bottom lashes, so. I'm using the Maybelline Curvitude. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go in with Red Bone. gonna go in to first date and we're gonna try to highlight and my highlighter brush broke so <laughs> we still gonna try to make something shirk Woo! I knew it I knew it oh we y'all that is so pretty it looks almost dewy yo that is super pretty that is mm. Mm. shook gonna spray my face 
could we not like spray away from our face though? <laughs> So this is the finished look using the Minted Cosmetics Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. And I hope you like it. I really like it. I just, I forget how much I love neutrals because I always try to do so much extra stuff. But this is so pretty. Honestly, the eyes didn't take me long. I didn't have to cut crease it out. I just think it's really beautiful if you're trying to do a little bit more than you usually do. But you don't maybe want to step too far out of your comfort zone it's perfect this is wearable i mean you maybe want to switch out the lash depending on where you're going because it is a little bold and dramatic but you can wear this look to dinner you can wear this on a date you can wear this to work you can wear this to church you can wear this to walmart target wherever you want to wear it to because it's just that kind of look my overall thoughts on the palette, I really, really love it. One, I love black packaging. Ugh, anything with black or rose gold packaging is like A1. Because as much as I love my Jaclyn Hill palette, they wrong for that white packaging. It's gotten dirty so fast and it makes me upset. But anyways, all the shades are so perfect for anybody. And when I say anybody, I mean anybody. Whether you are a fair skin tone, medium skin tone like I am, or whether you are maybe on the darker side, one of my chocolate sisters. All of the shades work well if you wanna do a basic eye, just a little bit in your crease, if you wanna go a little smoky, if you want a little purple, maybe a little tan. I mean, it really has everything. And I guess for $28, that's not too bad for the quality that you get. They're super buttery, super pigmented, super soft. They didn't get muddy, and that's why I wanted to use the dark brown because a lot of dark browns, they don't blend out well because they're chalky, and they get really muddy when you try to blend them into the rest of the look, and it kind of messes it up. So this brown doesn't do that. This brown didn't do it when I did my contour. It's blending seamlessly. Like, there's no... I guaranteed I blend it, but <laughs> there's no harsh, I don't know, that Snickers bar kind of contour. I don't like that. And you won't get that if you use one of these shades and contour and you blend it out. It's that easy. So for my highlight, baby, like, <laughs> who this? Who is this? Not too glittery. It's not too in your face it's as in your face as you want it to be so if you want a bold highlight then you can definitely go for it and keep layering it on and it'll still be pretty or if you just want something that looks very dewy and glowy once you blend it out this may be your jam like it was mine so yeah definitely gets my approval a must if you are a neutrals girl if you travel a lot and you just want something you can reach in your purse or your bag and grab put on a really quick look and still look fabulous this is the palette for you Thank you guys so much for stopping back by if you've been here before and if you are subscribed. And thank you so much also for stopping by if this is your first time. Welcome, I am Treese. I hope you enjoyed your stay and I hope you return. So if you are thinking about returning, which you should, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it, if you like the product, if you like the way I reviewed the product, if you just like me, <laughs> go ahead and hit the thumbs up. All products will be down in the description box once again. So if there's something I used in a hurry or there's something you feel like you wanted to see that I didn't show, it will be down there so you can use it. I'm going to try to also link, I'm not going to try, I'm going to le link eh, the eyeshadow palette as well so you guys can pick it up. Because like I said, I didn't purchase it myself. It was given to me as a gift. But I want you to be able to grab it and enjoy the magic just like I did. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.